it's been so fun to like release as I go and let the music evolve with the beat. Sounds so cheesy, but no, I I love music evolution. I love evolution because you know. Don't science. we all? That's why we're all here. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Pop Dust Presents LA. We're here at the spot recording with Rebecca Lack. Hi. Um, <laughs> super stoked because I just got to listen to your new song. This I came know. out and it is pretty awesome, I have to say. Okay, thanks. Thank you. This is the third single you released this year. Yes. And you think it's different from the other ones? I've done things really differently this year than I ever have in the past. I feel like what is kind of standard across the board for other artists too is like you write for a project you release for a project and like that's it so everything has the same vibe everything is like from an era of your life whereas honestly this year like i have released things as i've done them so i had already planned on anyway being out before I had written the other song and then like right before that song came out I wrote the second song I put out this year called Do You and before Do You came out Sweetheart had just been written so it's like this kind of evolution and um now I think that these songs have come out and I like have more so of like an idea and it's really just opened so many doors for me we're getting ready for something maybe a little bit bigger next year and wrapping mm. these songs into like a mm. bigger project. Um, yeah, it's been so fun to like release as I go and let the music evolve with the beat. Sounds so cheesy, but. No, I, I love music evolution. I love evolution because, you know. Don't science. we all, that's why we're all here. <laughs> and what was the like writing process like? Like how do you kind of go about my favorite time to like come up with concepts for songs is on my way to a session like in the car I just turn my voice memo on on my phone and I just like start like letting I like try to open up like something in my brain <laughs> to like let things come through and uh and there was like a variation of the la 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 I like really wanted to do something in that vein so I was like let me come up with like something cool that sounds fun so I have a voice memo of me in the car, like, with the original La La. It sounds different than what it is now, <laughs> but it's still, like, you can tell it's it's the same girl. Yeah. So I brought that into the session, and I was like, I have an idea. And um, then I, I just, as far as, like, lyrics, I try to think about, like, what is happening in my world at the moment or what's going on in my brain, even. Um, and I was just really tired of, like people men women whoever no matter what saying like oh hi sweetheart but then being like a complete can i i've been swearing can i swear just a complete like ass to you <laughs> like it, yeah. it sucks and then having to feel like you have to be the sweet person back so i wanted to write about it so is there anything coming up that you're super excited about? Any kind of performances or anything? Mainly because I want to go. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Uh, well, I just played, I've been playing a lot in LA recently, like a ton of different kinds of venues. I played the um, Hotel Cafe and the Hi Hat recently, and I also did Candy Pop. I DJ now. Um, oh, that's super cool. Which, yeah, it's I'm been come see that. so much fun. Um, you've got to come, like, next time it happens. Yeah. Something I've, like, loved kind of, like, secretly on my own for a long time, and I've been doing, like, at my friend's parties and, like, in my own house, and then it just kind of, like, happened <laughs> in real life. I think someone asked me to do it, and I was like... <gasps> And um, it turned out really well. And so now it's something that I've been doing a lot. That's awesome. It's a fun thing to like do and I get to play my own music sometimes. And yeah. It's fun. I think that's really cool. There was a, a Netflix, um, was it Netflix? A show that came out and it was about, uh, it was about that. It was about the history of, um, I guess like rap and hip hop. And I think it's called Beats. Oh yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but it seems. It was so interesting. It was so interesting. Ooh. It made me want to do it except I don't think I can. <laughs> Anyone can. Anyone can. I think it takes just like playing the stuff that you love and like you'll find an audience for it. What else is going on in your <laughs> life? <laughs> what else is going on in my life? You're like, oh gosh, everything. I've been writing and really just trying to focus on creating like the best thing I can for the audience that's been there for me forever. And also right now, like one of my biggest focuses I think is giving 
the utmost attention that like my audience deserves. I just started my Patreon, which is something I've been waiting to do for so long and it has been so much fun. It's this hub where like I essentially get to live my like Britney Spears fantasy of like mm-hmm. having like this community that like is there and is so supportive and wonderful and knows everything before anyone else does. They get all the exclusive stuff and like I get to talk to them and Skype with them and chat with them and like I just love that. So, if you want to be a part of it I open my Patreon and it's it's a pretty sick place I'm premiering my music video I just premiered my music video on it and um it's been so wonderful to have them be a part of it awesome yeah and like pay back like everything that they've done to me yeah I I noticed that I've always told people I'm like no Rebecca has a really um like solid fan base just that I can tell from you know like social media I'm like no these people like are they're, they're in it like they get it like so many of them have been there from the get-go or like have been there for the last five years since I was doing YouTube or put out The Great Divide, my first single after, like my first real official single after Friday and like the music I used to put out. And seeing them like be patient in like some cases where I've been not releasing as much music or not posting on YouTube or whatever it is, like they truly I mean, I don't deserve them. Like, they are the nicest people in the world. I so. think I think you do deserve them. <laughs> they're they're really cool. What was the the best part about filming the the video? The music video. Yeah, was it was it a fun process? Do you like filming music videos? I love filming music videos. It is like always been one of my favorite things because of my past and like because of Friday. I really especially love to pay attention to because it's something that like with having a YouTube audience and all that, I know people will want it. And yeah. people especially like look forward to what I'm going to do. Um, so with this one, like, I really wanted to just like not hold anything back, put everything that we had into this video because I love this song so much. And like, I really wanted to create a story around it and not just like add a visual piece but mm-hmm. like create something yeah talking to the director Bia and I who is who did do you music video with mm-hmm. me as well um and she's like a really just like special person in my life so I wanted us to like really just go for it I've said that a billion times but I mean it <laughs> <laughs> no I'm let's go cray um and so we created like a short movie and we got to bring in like such amazing actors and people who I've known for a long time, people that I haven't. Fun fact, the guy in our music video, Phil Lubin, (laughs) was um, my coach at like the gym for a long time. I went to Orange Theory for a long time. Love that place. He is the best coach and he's still there at Melrose if you wanna go find him. (laughs) But uh, he's also an actor and so I reached out to him just being like, hey, is this something you'd ever do? I would love to have you. You'd be perfect. And he did it. And he was amazing. There's this, like, choking scene in the video um, where he, like, almost dies. And mm. watching him act that out, like, we were all in the room, like, oh, my God. This is so intense. So the whole, it was, like, a two-day shoot that was just wonderful. It was so difficult, but it was so much fun. That is awesome. I love that. So what about you and acting? Are you trying to... Do you want to do some acting, or are you like, I do all the music? Yeah, I love, I love to act. Over the last couple of years, I've been able to do a couple features. Nice. Um, which I think are coming around in, like, the next film festival season. Okay, um, look out. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about them. And um, then, like, just this year, I've just been out, like, auditioning my little butt off. <laughs> and um, really, like, putting much more attention to it because now I think I have like a little bit more stability in music of like knowing what I want. So I was like, let's do this. And it helps. They each kind of like lend to each other. Oh, absolutely. So I love it. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. we'll be more. Thank you for stopping by for Pop Dust Presents LA. Because absolutely. I'm trying to, I'm like, we're doing it LA. Absolutely. Well, I'm always here. If you need you Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Of course. Should we, should we hug it out? We should hug it out. We should hug sure, it out. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and um, wait for the new music. I mean, you don't have to wait. Sweetheart just came out, but like the new music is out. Um, and if you want to check it out ready. on my Instagram, Miss Rebecca Black. And again, my Patreon, 
is my favorite place right now. So, yeah, the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Rebecca Black. And if you haven't seen the music video for Sweetheart, it's out on YouTube.com slash Rebecca.